Why are the most vulnerable adults, the elderly, neglected, abused, and mm -hmm. exploited? Well, all day today, WATE 6 on your side is investigating what's really being done to protect our seniors. In Knoxville, a group of volunteers is making sure our seniors are not left alone, that someone is out there looking out for them. In our special series of reports, Elder Abuse Breaking the Silence, WATE 6 on your side reporter Don Dare explains how connecting hearts is making a difference. The Office on Aging in Knoxville, Knox County runs the Mobile Meals Program. A hot meal is delivered daily to seniors. However, after the meals are dropped off, there's a need for extra companionship. Connecting Hearts provides one-on-one -on -one time volunteers to seniors, thus reducing the chance of abuse or neglect. You go through the door. They yeah, you have, to, you have to put in a key. Life's rich experiences are indispensable. For Wanda, a 73-year-old widow on a fixed income, yeah. a weekly visit from Marsha Reap has brought her happiness. Mrs. Reap, a Connecting Hearts volunteer, visits Wanda weekly, providing friendship and a listening ear. With Wanda's grown children unable to visit frequently, Marsha fills a void faced by many seniors yeah. who live alone. Being isolated is, is very difficult in general, but then once you're isolated, you're more likely susceptible to, to scams, looking, uh, people kind of prey on people that don't have family checking on them. Judith Pilo manages the Connecting Hearts volunteer program. You know, life's pretty complicated, and there's a lot of information coming to, to seniors in a much different way than it used to. It's all very confusing, and it's just good to have someone else coming into the home, laying eyes on, on the situation, developing a relationship, and then watching out for them. All right, so here's your lunch. I brought you some well, Chick-fil-A. Marsha brings Wanda lunch when she visits. Connecting Hearts puts a volunteer in the home of a senior outside of the daily mobile meal time. This way, volunteers spend extra time, an hour or two a week, connecting during those hours when no one else may be checking on the older adult. In Wanda's case, um, I noticed that she did not have food in her pantry or her refrigerator. And I knew she was getting mobile meals, but that's just one meal a day. Her family, we work out of town, she told me. And so I knew they weren't, you know, connecting with her that often. So we decided to bring groceries to her, which we did. And then we got her um, also frozen meals for the weekends. Mobile meals that's coming in is not quite enough. So having a bag of groceries of just easy, kind of senior friendly foods helps. Wanda is pleased to be part of Connecting Hearts. Oh gosh, I'm loving it every minute. Having Marsha here as your Connecting Heart, mm -hmm. how has that made a difference? I like her. You have become her friend, haven't you? Absolutely, yes. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of the same interests, don't we? But she's just precious. And uh, she don't live far from me, do you, hon? I don't know where she lives, but it's not far. A lot of clients don't you know, they don't necessarily want to go anywhere. They just want somebody to come and talk to them. And, you know, the groceries are, are great, but I think what they really need is somebody to talk to them and just listen. There's a big demand for Connecting Hearts volunteers. They work through the Office on Aging. If interested, contact this number, 865-524-2786. Don Dare, WATE, 6 on your side. I love that new friendship that was mm -hmm. formed. That, that's what you want. Well, coming up here at 430, everyone, we continue this subject. Join me as I sit down with Aaron Bradley. He's the director of the East Tennessee Area Aging uh, Agency, rather, on aging and disability as we continue our special coverage of elder abuse. And remember, in addition to our focus on elder abuse today, we're bringing you extra coverage of this important topic on Saturday, World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. Be sure to join us on WATE at 530 in the evening for our special 30-minute report. So much valuable information.